Hello everybody. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I always say this. My name is Riley. You may know me as Honey Rags and I'm a full-time reseller. I resell anything and everything. Lots of used clothing, lots of Amazon returns that I buy from like bulk liquidation pallets and stuff like that. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing through this video, but I wanted to do a what sold video today and I wanted to get it done way earlier, but I had to wait until my fiance got home because my kids were being pretty wild today. I'm going to be going through things that sold over the past week and I tried to mainly keep it clothing focused. I sold a lot of supplements and like workout powders and like odds and ends electronics that I got from Amazon liquidation boxes, but I'm not including those in this video only for the purpose of keeping the video under like 30 minutes long. So I'm going to start with Poshmark, then I'm going to go over to Etsy, and then I'm going to go over to eBay. So I'm also going to add a thumbnail up here, of what the items look like and what they sold for. So this first item on Poshmark is a Roots Athletics pullover hoodie. This is a Canadian brand that I always swear by. This one sold for $25. I wasn't sitting on this one that long either. I always pick up Roots Athletics. Obviously, as long as it's not like in torn up condition. This was a Lilo and Stitch Disney hat. I sold for $14 on Poshmark. I picked this one up at the bins, so I probably paid like 80 cents for it. So I would definitely pick it up again. Another Roots Athletic. This one was actually a men's shirt. This one I let go for $10. I was sitting on it for months and I wanted to see it go for like $15, but because I was sitting on it, I let it go for $10. This one I was actually really happy about because it was such a quick sale. It's just um, a hand-dyed moon and star dress, mini dress. It's super boho, but it's super unique and awesome. And I actually just showed it on a haul video a couple of weeks ago so it sold within like the first couple of days of having it listed it sold at $26 which was my full asking price because I did get it at the bins so I didn't want to be greedy with my pricing this Anne Klein trench I was really happy about and I originally sold it for there's a story behind this one so bear with me I originally sold it for about 50 I think it was 40 or 50 dollars and then as I was shipping it I realized there was a very very faint repair at the bottom that was really well done so even when I steamed this item I completely looked past the repair because it was so well done but I hadn't listed that there was a repair done in the listing so I had to message the buyer and they actually ended up canceling the order so then I resold it for $20 which obviously that's a huge difference but I didn't realize it was flawed or else I don't think I would have picked it up I sold these can can jeans for $15 can can jeans I don't expect to get a lot out of them but they are a solid seller for me so I do pick them up I was really happy about this one too it was a I said vintage because I'm guessing this one was a 1990s unicorn necklace it was super dainty I bought it in a huge box of jewelry so I mean if I calculate it down I probably paid less than a quarter for it with all the other jewelry that I got and it sold for 12 I actually got an offer for 12 and I accepted it because I paid so little for it I found these Roper Kids Western Boots. So after doing some research, I found out Roper was a good brand. I had never heard of it before, but I found these at the bins and I sold them for 20. So I would pick up those again. And they were, let me go back. These were very flawed. I shouldn't say very flawed. The back of the heel, as you can see in the picture, was pretty scuffed up and they still sold for 20. This one I was disappointed about only getting $15 for. It was a Calia by Carrie Underwood, which is one of her active wear, which is her active wear brand. And I haven't had a problem moving Calia. I think that's how it's pronounced. I still pick it up, but this one was brand new with tags. And I was sitting on it at $22 forever. So someone offered $15 and I accepted it. Although I really wish I would have gotten more since it was new with tags. Yeah, I don't know, maybe just the style. This is a vintage Christian Dior shirt that I picked up for $30. You guys got to bear with me here. Oh my gosh. I paid like probably $3.99 for this. I actually found this one in Detroit, Michigan, I believe. Obviously, it sold for $30. Okay, now we are moving on to Etsy. Etsy has been picking up for me. Um, this strawberry shortcake vintage doll and accessories. I think the accessories may have been homemade. I'm not sure. I sold it for $20. 
I sold this vintage Homco plastic shelf for $25, but the buyer actually paid shipping. I picked this one up for super cheap, like probably one or $2 at a thrift store. I sold this Disney hat. This is actually an adult hat. I sold this one for $34. The Etsy listings don't give me the price when I screenshot their image. So I think this one was somewhere around $35, maybe $33, maybe $34. Does it really matter? That one I knew would go pretty quickly. I also sold this. This was also in the same haul as the Star and Moon dress. It's a 19, late 1960s, 1970s like dress cover. So, I mean, back in the day, you probably wouldn't have worn this by your by itself, but you would have worn it like over a dress or something like that. And this one sold for $27 over on Etsy. It had a lot of attention on Poshmark, but I was getting a little bit lower offers than I thought it deserved. So I waited it out and I'm glad it did. And I'm glad I did because it sold over on Etsy for full asking price. This was on that same haul video. So I had a lot of quick flips as far as my vintage goes. This actually went to France, which is super cool. So the person paid like as much in shipping as they did for the item. It is like a vintage 1970s, very kitschy pattern pajama top. I think I sold this for 27 and then they paid international shipping. This I've been sitting on for a while, but not too long. It's 100% silk, really simple ivory dress. Obviously it's vintage. I sold this one for $29. So moving on to eBay. These true vintage Levi mom jeans, I sold for $32.50. These ones I believe I picked up at the bins. I found this Stife Happy Farm Mini Horse. Um, obviously Stife bears, they can go for a lot of money. This one was really small. It was a different um, branch from Stife, obviously Happy Farms. I found this at TJ Maxx on the yellow tag clearance for $1. So I was happy to flip it for $15.90 because I sent it first class, so shipping was super cheap. This one I included because, I don't know why I included this one actually. And it's a Pile USA. It was like a Watt receiver. And I find a lot of receivers and stuff when I go to Goodwill. I don't really know what I'm looking at. But this one was actually in a liquidation palette and I sold it for $52.75. So I guess I included this one just to, I guess if someone finds a lot of like receivers and stuff, just keep your eye out. I think Pile... I mean, clearly it's a cheaper brand as far as receivers go. I know some receivers can go for like thousands of dollars. This was also in a recent haul video, a Dorfman Pacific wool hat. This one I found at the bins. I sold it for $17.95 with free shipping, but it did have a little flaw that was noted in the listing and it still sold at full asking price. Oh, this one was fun. I This one was from an Amazon customer return palette. It was brand new, don't worry. Um, it was just virgin hair, a uh, lace human hair wig. And I sold it for $48.95. I sold this Lucy Athletic, like sheer swim cover top for $14.02. Um, the buyer paid for shipping on this one. I ran a 15% off sale at over on my eBay shop. And I had a lot of clothing sales during that 15% off sale, which is surprising, but I'm also digging it because I got rid of a lot of old inventory just by marking it down 15%. I sold this Hell Bunny um, dress. They have really cool like pinup style dresses if you research Hell Bunny and they have a pretty big following. So it wasn't a huge flip, but I didn't sit on it for too long. Again, that one sold during my 15% off sale. So this one was actually dead stock. This was Denny Fresh Lock Turbo Seal replacement rolls. I sold for $21.04. I picked them up for just a couple of dollars. So I was fine with that flip. I did include one supplement, I guess. Um, these were sealed Duralactin. I think they're dog vitamins. Um, sold for $35.53. This one, I don't know why I included this one either. I thought I included mostly clothing. This was just an electronic water smart flow meter that I sold for $29.32. This was from an Amazon liquidation palette. I sold this. Milk Barn Organic Newborn Gown and Hat Set for $19.12 with free shipping. I picked this one up. Oh, this was from my Amazon return palette too. Okay, never mind. This was from a return palette. <laughs> and I also sold this Lacoste featuring whatever you want to call it. 
Mailandrino, Catherine Mailandrino. It was a collab polo texture dress. It's really cool, as you guys can see, and it sold during my 15% off sale, but I still sold it at $36, and the buyer paid for shipping. So, I mean, this one I picked up at a Goodwill for like $5.99, so I was really happy about that sale. Yeah, these were also in um, a recent haul video, these crazy, ugly Z-coil sneakers. They retail for like $250, and sometimes even used ones can sell for like $100. Pick these ones up at Goodwill. But this was like an older style. I had to do a lot of cleaning up on them, and they still sold for $36.98, which is not bad. So those were my 30 sales from last week. Like I said, I had more, but I really... Um, I don't even know if you guys really want me to go through like the Amazon liquidation return palette sales or if you guys are more interested in the used clothing sales. I never really know. I think if you're doing comps, when you look up, if you know about like Amazon customer return palettes and liquidations um, and liquidation merchandise and stuff like that, the comps are way more straightforward than used clothing. So I think it's a little bit more interesting to see what sold when it comes to pre-owned clothing versus new liquidated merchandise because for the most part things from Amazon customer return palettes the pricing guidelines or whatever you want to call them from the comps are pretty straightforward whereas with used clothing you have a little bit more leeway with how you price things and what they sell for so that's why I only decided to include a handful of uh, uh, Amazon return liquidation sales I'm just rambling on at this point in this video so I have a really, really big haul for you guys that I'm really excited to show you. Hopefully I can get that video up by the end of the week. So if you are not subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram. I cannot believe I got this done in under 15 minutes. I'm super proud of myself. So you guys know me, most of you know me. I'm usually way more spunky in my videos, but it is 7.30 p.m. I had to start this video off with some OJ because I was just starting to lose steam, but I was bound and determined to get this what sold video done before I do my next haul because in my head I had to have these all aligned. So if you're still watching at this point, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you really want me to include Amazon liquidated items in my what sold videos or if you just want to keep it from the stuff that I've thrifted which I think is more fun to do anyway. But anyway, I'm rambling. I left a link down below in the description to my Instagram. You can always go follow me over there and say hi over on Instagram comments. I respond a lot quicker and a lot more consistently over on Instagram because it's way easier for me to do it through Instagram. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Happy selling and happy sourcing.